tuned to the Ogano Art Family. If you got a question, hit us up on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and all the social media sites that will be down in the description below. For this video, I'm going to talk about my first experience with a Wacom tablet. So, a long time ago, I had ordered uh, a uh, Manga Studio 4 package that also included a Wacom tablet with it. So, I decided to say, oh, why not? I'll just uh, buy Manga Studio 4 along with this Wacom tablet. So, when I did buy it, uh, I tested it out the uh, Wacom tablet for the first time. I didn't really bother to look at any uh, YouTube advice or anything like that. I just got intimidated by it at the fact that I was, uh, it felt like I was going back into my drawing stages and my beginner drawing stages while I was using the Wacom tablet. So I didn't really have an understanding about the Wacom tablet. I didn't know that a it captured the entire screen. I thought it, it uh, worked exactly like a mouse a mouse which it didn't I also didn't think that I would be able to put my uh, the side of my hand on the Wacom tablet to help me draw faster I thought that I had to constantly hover my my hand and only allow the uh, the pen to touch the screen but anyway I didn't know that before until recently like this week so back then what intimidated me was I was drawing uh, I was drawing back to my you know preschool doodling days and when I saw that I was like okay I'm not touching this this tablet thing again okay that's that's going out of there that's I'm not touching I'm not looking at it I'm not touching it it's, it's just gonna stay there at the side of my desk gathering dust so you know eventually you know this week I started to experiment with the Wacom tablet. I actually attempted to learn the tablet. And so I started to refresh my mind on, you know, tips and tricks on using the Wacom tablet, uh, your pen settings, uh, how it works, that it captures the entire monitor and it doesn't work like a mouse. And also, I just, while I was drawing, I recently, like, discovered that I could actually put the side of my hand into on the touch screen as long as the the pen the um the stylus touches the the tablet first i could put the side of my hand on the touch screen so it'll feel like i'm drawing normally and so yeah this week i went to grab my wacom tablet because it was gathering dots there were roaches all over but it was you know it wasn't i'm, I'm kidding it wasn't that hard I, I, there were no roaches crawling and creeping all over the tablet but it was just it, it was about that time that I started to learn so I started to learn and probably what you're gonna see up on the screen or or what I'm gonna show on the thumbnail of this video was my first actual attempt of learning the tablet this week and actually drawing something and now I'm getting into a point I'm getting to a point where I feel comfortable just you know just doodling with a tablet now I'm not saying that I'm some kind of tablet drawing professional or anything like that but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was you know me being a traditional artist me you know I I usually pencil in my works and then I ink it and then I go through the entire scanning process and then that's when I can, you know, edit it on Photoshop to make my inking colors like black and whatnot. So I could actually digital, digitally colorize it to make it look, you know, professional looking and whatnot. And so if you're a traditional artist and you're, you know, scared to touch the tablet or you tried the tablet and you're just not, you know, you don't want to look at it again. You know, I'm, I'm saying, you know, it's, it's not that bad. Give it a try, you know. Look at some beginner tutorials on your your tablet and some methods I like to use to practice my hand coordination is you know basic uh, this tracing 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 a, a sketch uh, find a do your own sketch or find some a sketch on uh, Google and, you know import it on the uh, 
on the uh, a software that's really specific that's much more better for digital painting for tablets so that may be uh, clip studio formerly manga studio or it may be a uh, Sai or some other painting or drawing software I'd recommend to use and now some of these uh, this advice is from people that I got that I learned from that already understand or grasp a knowledge of the tablet and do digital painting is um and it's all really a artist's preference on doing it traditionally or digitally so I know this uh, this girl that streamed that is a published uh, comic maker and you know I, I was talking to her and she, she although she does most of her work uh, digitally she uh, she would prefer to draw her comics uh, uh, traditionally but she's unable to do that just due to uh, a permanent hand injury that causes her to you know it strains her hand and she can't draw for long periods of time traditionally hence the uh, hence the alternative way is uh drawing digitally with a tablet and you know for any of you guys that are afraid or you know that don't want to touch a tablet you know just just give it a try give it a give it a attempt to learn you know the tablet isn't so scary you know if you have you know burglars intruding in your house and you show them a tablet those burglars are not going to run away from you because you have a tablet they're just going to take the tablet so you know the tablet isn't so scary you know just just give it a try you know you know just give it a try and so that will be the video guys if you have a topic you'd like me to cover uh, contact me through the other social medias or just comment below uh you know, th th there's a subscribe button below. It's red. You won't miss it. And, uh, yeah, this will be the video. Later, guys. Peace.